Hey, it's Dr. Ariel Policano from GeniusBioFeedback.com, and I'm bringing you a weekly tip for you to take with and run with with your genius that I think you'll find really helpful. The first one we're going to do is one of the basic processes from our three basic processes document. And you can find this guide or document by going to the YouTube descriptions and you'll see it linked there. The reason we came up with this is because when you're new, or even if you're a seasoned user, you may want a starting point, a place to focus, a place to have some structure. So that is why we came up with the three basic processes. Let's go ahead and see what this would look like. The first thing we have is this document that says the three basic processes. And the one we're going to do today is basic assessment number one. Basic assessment number one gives you a starting place for anything that you want to work on because it takes you through some of the most basic panels that we have. And what you will do with this is it gives you a flavor for what the person might be going through. You can often see patterns with this and it may even inform you about other libraries that you want to use in your custom library section. So after we record the voice and the picture for the client or for yourself, we simply go down to begin analysis. We begin the analysis. And the first thing that we're going to do is look at the aura. So we're going to take a picture. We're going to look at the aura or go to the aura function, which is down here. Click on aura. And then we're gonna to go to begin analysis. We're gonna begin the analysis where we see the picture of that person. It's actually a dog that we're working on. And we're gonna go ahead and get the wonderful aura for this person or animal, which is a beautiful emerald green with just a little bit of density down at the bottom right. So overall, we're very heart connected today. It's looking absolutely great. But as we go through our session, we want to see this density at the bottom begin to clear up. So let's take a screenshot of this, or we could even email it to ourselves or to the client, and we could just call it the before aura scan. Okay, so you could call it the before R scan if you wanted to and send it to your client or to yourself. Now, the next thing we're going to work on is today's stress. You could see today's stress on the left-hand side here on the document. We're gonna go ahead and work on today's stress. So today, we're gonna go to the body section. We're gonna click on today's stress, click it here, and we're gonna see that kidney, immune system are the reds, and then liver and blood sugar are the blues. And that's all we need to do, just focus on our reds and our blues. Now, it doesn't matter if you understand about the different organs of the body. Um, you just wanna balance the reds and the blues. What's really important in bioresonance, biofeedback, is that you focus on the frequencies that you need. It, it, you can look up why you need them. We have that all written in our mastery guide. But the, the basic idea is that you need this frequency to balance the kidneys. You need this frequency to balance the immune system. You need this frequency to balance the liver. liver. You need this frequency to balance blood sugar. We don't make any medical claims, but the idea is that this will create a harmony within the body in some productive way way and many people experience that as a very positive change in what they're experiencing physically so once we've got today's stress we move on to body systems okay then we're going to take the reds and the blues here here there's just one red which is the immune system we're going to move on to organs so we're going to find the organs we're going to take any reds and blues it says pancreas kidney and lungs so it's really interesting that the kidneys keep coming up this could be dehydration this could be eating a, a protein diet that is too high this could just be emotional stress or it could even be adrenal fatigue that is making that kidney energy light up then we're going to go to digestion 
So again, well, it looks like we got a common theme here of the liver coming up, this comes up several times. So this helps you to see patterns as you go through. This person might be a good person to do a detox, a cleanse, or clean up their diet in some way, give up alcohol or caffeine, something like that, or just de-stress, decompress, because you're even beyond all of the food and alcohol and things like that, even just emotions can get locked into these organs and cause them to appear as red or blue, meaning they need to be harmonized, they need to be relaxed, they need to be unwound in some way. And this, the genus gives you that way to do that. Then we're going to look at our flower essences. So flower essences are emotional energies, energies to move through emotions, our emotional blocks. We can pick up all the reds and all the blues. And this will always make your session be more powerful when you use these emotional healing energies because almost any physical issue that you have tends to have some emotional underpinning. So once we do that, we basically go to progressive insights, which is at the bottom right. We're going to click the button here and it takes us to a new screen called Progressive Insights. When we tap the Begin Analysis button, it shows us all the items that are the highest priority for today. So Rescue Remedy, Kidneys and Blood Sugar, and Elm. So Rescue Remedy means there's um, sort of something that is usually like really jarring the person emotionally. They feel like they're in a very like, you know, serious state of stress. And then Kidneys, again, need to hydrate, maybe too high of a protein diet. Blood sugar, maybe too many carbs, too much fat, maybe um, just needing to get on a sort of a cleansing diet. We saw this already once before. And then Elm is usually just feeling very, very weighed down by responsibility and wanting to have some balance in one's life. So isn't that interesting? So you could kind of put that together for that person that could be very significant for them. Now, all we need to do is just run the frequencies for 15 minutes and we have a full balancing session just based on this basic process number one. You don't need to do anything else except for this. So this is your basic assessment number one when you're beginning with the genius and you want to just be able to do a successful session. This will give you everything that you need. This is Dr. Ariel at GeniusBioFeedback.com. Look for these bite-sized pieces, small little tip videos that will really help you in your practice. I'll see you in the next video.